Good morning friends today we are going to see about the event type in simulation what is simulation simulation means it is a process of designing a model of a real system and conducting experiments with this model for the purpose of understanding the behavior of the system and or various strategies for the operation of the system and what a model means it is any simplified representation of object or a system now let us see the event type in simulation for the better understanding of event type simulation we are considering the following illustration here we are considering a situation where customers arrives at a one man barber shop for hair cutting the problem is to analyze the system in order to evaluate the quality of service and the economic feasibility of offering the service to measure the quality of service one has to make the assessment of the average waiting time per customer and the percentage of time the barber remains idle and for the construction of a model of this system one notices that changes pertinent to the analysis of the system can occur only if a customer arrives for service or departs after completion of service if a customer arrives at barber shop he will have to wait if the server or barber is busy on the other hand a departure of customer after being served indicates that the server is available to serve the waiting customers if any thus we conclude that there occur two events namely an arrival and a departure it indicates that as the simulator progresses on the time scale one should pay attention to the system only when and if an occurs and let e denotes the arrival event ed the departure event and t the simulated period that is the time span then the simulator starts at time t is equal to 0 and progresses up to t is equal to t1 t is equal to t2 and so on until the entire simulated period t is covered so the above figure illustrates the occurrence of the ea and ed over t where the simulation starts generating ea at t1 initially as the facility is unoccupied the customer starts services immediately then the following two events may occur first one is the next arrival may occur and next is the service of the customer may be completed and the next arrival is determined by the inter arrival time this determines ea and t2 departure time of the customer in service is determined from the service time and this generated ed at t3 both ed at t1 and ed at t3 are now stored chronologically so that this simulator recognizes that ea occurs before ed next event to be considered is ea at e t2 and at this point ea at t1 is deleted from the stored list because of the past event the event ea at t2 generates ea at t4 since the facility is busy the arriving customer ea at t2 is in waiting line now ea at t1 is deleted from the list and ea at t3 is considered next at this time a customer is taken from the waiting line and departure event ed at t5 is generated the process is repeated until the entire simulated period t is completed now let us consider an example here the customer arrives at a milk booth for a required service assume that the inter arrival and the service times are consistent and it is given by 1.8 and 4 time units respectively 
simulate the system by hand computations for 14 times units and we want to find out the average waiting time per customer and the percentage idle time of the facility and we can assume that the system starts at time t is equal to 1. So the solution for the problem is at the beginning uh, since the facility is free that is the service time for the customers are constant and it is 4 time units so the departure time is uh, 4. Next event occurs at t is equal to 0 plus inter arrival time that is 1.8. So the next event occurs at t is equal to 1.8 which is stored before ed at t is equal to 4. And now since the facility is still busy, customer 2 is put in the queue and is first to be considered in this queue. A new arrival event that a customer 3 occurs at t is equal to 3.6. That is the arrival time of the customer 3 and the customer 4 which precedes ed at t is equal to 4. Again, customer 3 is put in the queue and new arrival event ED occurs at t is equal to 3.6 plus 1.8 that is 5.4. This event succeeds EA at t is equal to 4. At this point, first customer departs which leaves the facility free. Customer 2 who was the first to join the queue now gets service. The waiting time is computed as a period from the instant he joined the queue until he commences the service. The procedure is repeated until the simulated period completed. The result of simulation are given the following table. And the average waiting time per customer is the sum of the total of the time units divided by the number of customers. Then after dividing it, we get 3.57 as the average waiting time per customer. And the average waiting time per customer for those who must wait is 2.6 divided by 7. That is 4.08. And the percentage idle time of the facility will be 0 percentage. Hope you all understand this video and thank you so much for watching.